Okay, we're starting to fill the water up to uh, start the mashing. Now, what we're going to do, what you want to do for for the mashing or for the mash water, actually strike water is what this is. Uh, you want to go between a quart and a, and a quart and about an eighth, so which is going to be between 32 and about 40 ounces per pound of grain. So, what I did for this particular recipe, because I wanted to change things around a little bit, I took 36 ounces, just a little bit over a quart, multiplied that by 27 pounds of grain for 10 gallons, which is what I've got here, and that came out to um, this 972 ounces, the calculator solved that one for me. Now, since I really don't want to measure by ounces, I'm pouring these in, or James pouring these in by gallons. Uh, I just simply multi divide that by 128, which is a gallon. That came out to 7.5 gallons. Now, it's, you know, um, uh, you always, even, whatever your recipe comes out to for however many gallons is, always heat at least one extra gallon over that because you're going to have some loss to evaporation. So I do a minimum of one over. You can do a little less, but, you know, I'd rather have too much and not enough. So what we're doing here is, uh, since i got three pots, I don't have a tier system yet. This pot is 5.5 gallons, this one's 4.5 gallons, and this one's 4 gallons. Four would be nine and a half gallons. So we're going to fill this one up and put about, uh, this one's going to be full and this one's going to have about three gallons in it. So that's all we're doing right now. We're going to, we're going to fill these up with eight and a half gallons of water or so, um, and start heating them up to, uh, the correct temperature. Now, the temperature that we want for this beer is going to be full body. It's going to be 156 degrees. It's going to be on the upper end of the scale there. And since uh, we got to heat the water more, we, we're going to have to go at a higher temperature because the grain is actually at a lower temperature. Since you know, right now it's uh, you know it's going to be winter time, and you know the grain's cold. The, the home's my home's cooler, so we've got to go for a temperature over that. Now the temperature we're aiming for 156. Go heat your water to at least 18 degrees over that. I go 20 to 22 over that because you know there's going to be tricks you can adjust temperature later on that we'll show, but. Again, you're going to lose te you're going to lose temperature due to the grain being colder, due to um, transferring it over, evaporate a little bit. Of, well, not so much for evaporation, but anyway, point is, heat your water at least 18 over. I recommend a little bit more than that. Um, with that in mind, we're going to get the, we're going to get the water started here and uh, set up the mash tin and get the brewing underway. So this again is the strike water, which will be used to uh, heat the grain as you'll, or to start the grain conversion here down the road. Uh, Jim's going to keep filling these up with some water. This is just plain water with nothing special added to it. If your water at a tap is good enough to drink, just put, unless you really wanted some brewing salts, just take it right at the tap. That's all I do. Mine's good enough to drink, so I just use it straight. I don't use any filters or anything. If your water sucks, if you filter it or whatever because you don't like drinking otherwise, then do the same for your brewing.